Found myself a bit of bush tucker this morning. The tamarind pod. Inside here is the most sweet and sour, tasty little tree. And there's a the flesh. Beautiful. So I've got a recipe in mind for this fella. Take him back camp and cook him up. So this recipe is finally coming together. You've seen us pick up the tamarinds in Bowen. And yesterday Melissa caught a nice finger mark. So we're going to make a tamarind and chilli sauce on a crispy skin finger mark for lunch today. So yeah, one of the main ingredients is the tamarinds. Fish sauce, garlic, ginger, some lime. The recipe calls for shallots, but we don't have any. So we'll get by with a red onion white pepper, a couple of chilies, and some palm sugar. We don't have every ingredient for this, but we're just gonna get by with what we got in camp. So I'll get a bowl and get these tamarinds shelled out. Oh, that one's coming out nicely. And then I just pull some of that fiber off. And that's the soft gooey flesh of the tamarind. So that's our tamarind all shelled out. That much there, I'll use about a cup of boiling water to soften them up. And you let that sit for about 10 minutes and then we'll run them through a strainer and get our tamarind water. While that tamarind is softening up, I'll get the rest of the ingredients ready. Normally pound it up in the mortar and petrol, but we don't have one here in camp, so it's just going to be a fine chop today. Chop the chilies up. If you like it really hot, you can leave the seeds in, but I'm going to take them out today so it's not over hot. Getting that chili as fine as I can. You can use a lot more chilli too if you like it really hot. Just make it to your own taste. Now that's been soaking for 10 minutes and it's nice and soft and now we uh, extract all the flavour out of that by running it through a strainer. And just get a uh, back of a spoon and just work all that soft paste through. You can see some of the seeds starting to come out. And just keep working. So just keep working that around, keep extracting as much of that pulp through as I can, leaving the seed and the fibres behind. And that then goes down into the water and becomes your tamarind water, which is the main ingredient for this recipe. So that's what's left, the tamarind water. I've got about a, just under a cup of that. Still a few lumpy bits in the bottom, but they'll be right. And that'll keep in your fridge for a week or two as well. So I've measured out about a quarter of a cup of the tamarind water. Two tablespoons of fish sauce. Grate your palm sugar so it dissolves quicker. If you leave it in one big lump, it takes forever to dissolve. You can start to smell all them flavours now, and chilli and tamarind and garlic. We're getting ready to cook these ingredients off and we need two tablespoons of oil. So I'm going to use about one of rice oil and one tablespoon of sesame oil. Just because we love the flavour of it. That's about a tablespoon there. So that oil's nice and hot now. You can already smell that sesame oil fragrance is coming off. And now we're going to add the rest of the ingredients. And fry all them. So we reduce that down now until it's a nice sticky sauce. 
I'm going to score the fish all the way down to help it cook quicker, but it also helps it hold the sauce. And then we just dust him over with a bit of rice flour. It helps make everything crispy. Even a bit in here in his stomach cavity. That's ready for some hot oil now. And that oil looks pretty hot, so we'll just place him in so he doesn't splash me. Might need a little bit more oil on him actually. How does that look? That's been cooking for about eight minutes. That oil's pretty hot, so hopefully that's going to be nice and crispy on the other side. Give him a turn. Oh, that's beautiful. You can see all the golden lines where we scored the flesh earlier. This has turned out beautiful. So now all that's left to do is to spoon all that sauce all over it. Give it a good coating and then we'll break the fish apart and eat the flesh and the sauce at the same time. Now to garnish, because of the lack of greens in camp, we're going to use some deep fried onion, just to finish him off. How good does that look? All started by picking up some tamarind pods in Bowen, and then we had to buy a few extra ingredients along the road, catch the fish, and this is what we come up with, crispy skin fish with tamarind and chilli sauce, one of our favourites. So to serve him up, I'm just going to lay him on the plate. And bit by bit you just break those pieces of flesh out, like that. Mm. Absolutely beautiful. And you use bits and pieces of fish to mop up the remainder of the sauce because that is the star attraction of this dish. Well, I hope you all enjoyed that recipe, and as a bit of a bonus, those seeds I extracted, I brought some home, and got my own tamarind tree growing, so hopefully I'll have plenty of tamarinds in the future. So if you like what we do, uh, feel free to subscribe, and give us a like, and we'll catch you in the next video.